right, um, I'm Zach. Um, so let's let's all imagine, right? Can we know this person, this uh, lady that has like a, she's like probably let's say 27, okay, 28, 29, you know, whoever you want, okay. She's got like a nine-year-old kid, so you know maybe she's 30, okay. And uh, let's say she uh, she's got no work, she's looking for work, right? And uh, so she sees this employment ad and so to say, uh, you know, waitress, they can speak a certain language. Uh, let's say Russian, all right? And so, but it's not, you know, it's, but she has to travel. So she goes down, um, so she, well, she's like, sure, I'll take this job. And she flies down to, let's say, Italy, okay? Obviously, we're not in the United States, sorry, I forgot to tell you that. I'm a little nervous here. Um, and uh, so she, she goes, gets there, and, uh, and this guy meets her at the, airport, right? She goes to an office and, and there's a whole bunch of other ladies there and she's like, wow, you guys are here for this wait, waitressing job too? And he's like, good, no, what, what are you, what are you, what are you, smoking crack or something? She's like, what? And, and the lady finds out that she's just been bought for $200, all right, and now she's a prostitute, all right? She's not even there for, for a waitressing job, all right? And she, you know, she has no idea about this, so she just got hosed over, right? So, um, so I'm going to do my presentation over human trafficking, all right? Um, so human trafficking is actually, it's a pretty, they say it's the second largest crime in, in the world, and it deals with uh, like three main parts, okay? And there's um, human trafficking deals with forced labor, um, child soldiering, and uh, the sex trade. Um, so we're going to talk about each one, right? Um, so the first one, is uh, slave labor. There's a couple different topics in, in slave labor. There's, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> debt labor. You know, someone has to, uh, has made so much debt that they become uh, um, like a slave to pay off their debt. Um, so they work long hours. They have no freedom. They, they put their life suck. All right, sort of comes down to. Um, then there's um, in, uh, in voluntary ser servitude employment. And in a way, I kind of see this in the United States, too. Let's say a migrant worker comes up here, you know, say from Mexico, they're, they're illegal, right? But uh, they work in, let's just say, a farmer. I'm not, you know, I'm not crucifying anyone. I'm just an example, okay? And, um, and, so let's, and so they work for this farmer for like, let's say, you know, six bucks, right? Six, six bucks a, an hour. And the farmer's like, well, I can't pay you, I'm gonna pay you less. So you can either work for me, or you can, you know, get out of here, and good luck, because I might turn you in. So, they, you know, turn you into the, the ice, right? Um, immigration. Immigration, thank you. Immigration, customs enforcement, people. And, um, and so he stays there and works for the $6 an hour, because the, the dude's scared that, you know, if he leaves, he ain't gonna make no money. He might get deported, so he just stays there and just, you know. So it's kind of like, it's a lose-lose situation, so it's all the same. And then there's um, involuntary domestic servant. And um, I don't know if a while back you guys heard about this girl that was 10 years old. She's an Egyptian. She worked for these people. These people actually bought her in the United States. Bought this 10-year-old Egyptian girl. And this little girl worked as their, as their slave for, you know, 18 hours a day, washing dishes until someone thought, what the heck is that little girl up at 11 o'clock at night doing dishes? Person got turned, people, you know, she called, people got turned in, and freaking, that's in the United States. And so that's like, that's a form right there of buying a, a slave to, to do, your, to do your, your work in the house. Sorry guys, I'm a little all over the place. Um, so yeah, you know, so that's a couple types right there. The next one turn to is, Child soldier. And this is actually a big one in, in Africa. Um, I got a couple pictures. This 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 part deals with like uh, the whole Congo, the Democratic Repu Republic of Congo. So this is a kid right here. I don't. I didn't say how old he was. I got this off the internet. Uh, off one of the. Dude, there's so many sites out there. Yeah, we were like, we we're like, cool. Well, let's talk it. So this kid's probably like 13, right? It's, I don't know if that's an AK-47 or what, but a little a kid shouldn't be carrying a gun like that, getting ready to kill other people. Here's another one. And then here I got this vid, quick video. 
It's all in subtitles, so you can't understand the kids anyway. <laughs> Um, so look, at the, the, these kids had their tie how to fight, how to kill people, to torch their enemy. Dude, that's freaking whack, if you ask me. Um, <laughs> for real, like the 13, they say that um, just uh, they're estimated to be 300. This comes from the UNICEF. I lost the, what they meant, but they estimated uh, 300,000 child soldiers under the age of 18, and uh, in 30 different countries. Oh, okay, 30 seconds. Crap. Okay, I'm going to move down to sex, uh, to sex trafficking. All right, um, so tra sex trafficking is just jacked up, too. Uh, there's one sure I'm going to talk to you about, and that's uh, child, uh, child sex trafficking. We're talking about, like, four-year-old girls being, um, you know, pretty much raped and stuff like that. And it's freaking whack. You see, there's two million children um, that are used for, for, uh, to make money you know, having sex, which is just... I give you all that for so that's just jacked up too. So um, there's actually they call it sex, uh, child sex uh, tourism. Like this is big and like over in uh, the Philippines. Like guys will actually come from Japan and have sex with these kids in, in the Philippines for money and and just I don't know guys. It's just jacked. Sorry, it's just jacked up guys. Um, so that's just a few just a few things about the whole uh, human trafficking. So now you're informed, now you know. So that's jacked up, like I said.